Hey everyone and welcome to another All About Arby's video tour. Today we're taking a look at this brand new 2024 North Trail 25 RBP travel trailer. We're going to take a few minutes, we'll walk you through the inside and outside of this RV, kind of show you what this thing's all about. So let's get started up on the inside and then we'll come on back to the outside and go over the outside here shortly. So let's start back here in the back, the RB part, the rear bath. So here we have a walk-in shower, pull across vinyl door, ABS tub surround, skylight up above. Large amount of counter space in here. Pretty good size medicine cabinet set up as well. You have window back here that opens, foot flush toilet. There is a vent fan back here. Nice and deep here. So big bathroom in the back area of this RV. Plenty of room to get in and out here, get in, undress, take a shower, do all that good stuff. You have a water heater control here for propane, electric, water pump, monitor panel for your holding tanks. Out here into the middle section, you're going to have your living room kitchen area. So over here, you got a nice uh, little chase lounge set up here. There's storage under there. The sofa will also make into a bed so you could sleep a couple adults out here if you needed to. Nice big window back there opens up. Currently have the Everchill 10.7 cubic foot 12 volt refrigerator over there. Nice big pantry area here as well. Couple drawers down below. They're using that uh, woven material down here. That's They use it in a lot of pontoon boats and stuff. It's a lot more uh, rugged and easier to clean up than carpet and doesn't rip as easy as vinyl when you see vinyl on those slide floors sometimes. Over here you have a little dinette area or maybe a workbench if you're gonna work from home kind of thing. TV up there is on a swing arm. There's a couple speakers in here. You have ducted AC, propane furnace. There is radio controls and slide room button over here as well. Pretty solid surface countertops here. You have the uh, propane leak detector down there. There's an electric box with the breakers and fuses over here. This one's a little different. Some of the Heartland products do these air fryer ovens instead of a traditional propane style oven. So a little different there. And then up top, you have a little flip back lid here that kind of acts as a backsplash or gives you more counter space when you're not cooking. But you have a three burner propane stove top here. Furion hood range light and fan, graystone microwave. This is also prepped for the Gateway Connect. It's an aftermarket piece you can buy and add on here, allowing you to subscribe to an internet service and take internet with you. It's kind of neat. Got the high rise faucet, large undermount sink. Going into the bedroom area, there's some storage underneath. The bed will also raise up for a little more storage under there. Hanging closet on each side, and you have some overhead cabinet space back here as well. There's even little shelf space back there, so you have electric outlet, USB charger ports back there. Same thing over on that side. Down below there, you got uh, three drawers. 
place to mount your TV over here on the wall if you want. Got a vent up here as well. Sliding door for privacy. There's a decent amount of room here to kind of maneuver around your bedroom area. But overall, a very nice couple's coach here with quite a few higher end features. Stepping back here to the outside of the RV, you have an aluminum studded foam block insulated sidewall. You also have a laminated roof system as well. Um, lower black metal skirting, power awning, LED light strip built in, adjustable arms for tilting, and you also have manual override in the front arm head. Back here you have a little mini fridge, a little suburban gas griddle here. You have that heavy duty more ride entrance step. You'll see a little advertisement sticker there. It talks about the three year limited structural warranty. It's kind of nice to know that they back their product a little longer than some of the other brands. Some brands only do a one year warranty in general. So nice to know again, they're doing at least a three year. You have that wide stance axle system right here, making it a little more stable when traveling down the road. You have aluminum wheels, drum brakes, easy lube hubs. Furnace exhaust out right here. You have two outdoor speakers, your stove exhaust vent up there. You'll also see a little advertisement here that talks about Asdale on board. So this fiberglass is attached to an upgraded Asdale composite material instead of a less expensive wood Luon backer. So it's much less likely to have delamination issues from water damage uh, if say you get a w leaky window or a vent or something. Um, so that's nice to know. It is gonna hold together a little bit better. Water heater over here. Very large pass-through storage compartment. Now this customer also bought uh, some Blue Ox weight distribution hitching stuff as well. Here is a charge controller for solar panel, disconnect button here as well. But lots of storage here. A couple lights in here as well. The front end's kind of rounded back. You have a heavy duty three quarter fiberglass front cap here. Multiple LED light strips built in. Power tongue jack. 220 pound propane bottles. Room for one or two batteries here. But you also have a battery disconnect back there as well. Slide out goes in and out by 12 volt power. It has prepping for the Soul Air slide awning cover as well. So if you wanted to add an awning cover over top of there, it's already prepped for that. That's a really nice feature. It helps repel a lot of water, leaves, twigs, debris, shades the top of the room. So pretty nice there. And then here you're gonna have power stabilizer jacks on the front and rear. The dump area here, one of your dump areas. Going on around to the back side here, we're gonna have again another dump area down here, power rear jacks, detachable power cord right there, cable inlet as well. Traditional flat back fiberglass rear end here. Uh, you have your city water inlet, black tank flush right here. You have a hot and cold outside utility shower. Traditional four inch square tube bumper. Um, you are prepped in the top center there for a rear observation camera by Furion. That's another nice feature to consider adding. That allows you to see what's going on behind the RV when you're driving down the road or backing into a campsite. Um, you are also prepped in the top up there for a Lippert portable stow and go ladder bracket. So that's a nice telescoping ladder you could buy and take with you aftermarket wise. Um, and basically allow you to get up and down on and off your roof. And just down here in the bottom corner, some hot and cold low point water drains as well. Now let's step back inside here. I want to show you what it looks like closed. Got that nice large folding entry handle here to grab onto. You'll see a little advertisement sticker there. It talks about tongue and groove plywood flooring. 
awning control over here, some light switches. But right back up here is gonna be that slide button. And we're gonna run this in for you here just to kind of show you what this looks like. So it is very important to make sure your slide floor is clean when you are going to run it in. You don't want to accidentally run over some rock or something that might have come off your shoe and damage your floor. Very important as well when you're taking it out to make sure there's nothing in the way going out so you don't accidentally run into the electric pole at the campground or water pole at the campground or something like that. Now you can see when it's in, it is a very snug fit. So you, you're not really getting to that part of the RV unless you're kind of climbing over the couch a little bit. You do have, however, full access to your back bathroom. So if you're stopping at a rest area or something on the way to wherever you're going, you can run in here, use the bathroom if you need to. Now, if you are wanting to say stop at the grocery store and come in and load your refrigerator, it's pretty quick and easy just to bump the slide out out a little bit. That way you can squeeze back in there and load your refrigerator without having to fully open up the RV slide if you don't really want to. But it just takes a few seconds. Now I can squeeze back in there, load my groceries. I could go grab something out of my bedroom if I needed to. Uh, no big deal and hit the button to continue to go the rest of the way out if you're at the campsite and really want to actually open up the whole RV. Pretty quick and easy. As always, if you don't mind, smash that like button down below. Help out my channel if you don't mind again. And be sure to check out the folks at Couches RV Nation, guys. They are one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country. Definitely going to save you a lot of money on a new RV. Thanks again.